Oh, Eve. How could I have been so foolish? Taking your wit, your humor, and your computerness for granted. Eve, god damn it, I told you, you got voted off this season. She's here and I don't have anything to wear. You're a machine! You are incapable of love! Initializing EVE shutdown. I gotta find out what those tapeworms were doing in the requisition order. We're hurting people! We're ruining lives! Oh, baby. I just hope you get better soon, cuz... A few more hours and the oxygen on the station's gonna run out. Oh, hey everyone! Welcome to Rob Troy Season 2, more laughs, more jokes, more controversy. What didn't we talk about that's controversial? No, I'm sorry, but I'm feeling a bit down today, but not nearly as down as my uh, digital counterpart here. Just a few more hours and the uh, oxygen for the station's gonna run out, so I kinda gotta make sure she's doing okay. <laughs> Bring it in. I know what to do. While I wait for Eve to fix herself, or for the oxygen to run out, whichever happens first, I can give you the top 10 games to play if you know, you're depressed, you know, depressed, pissed off, stressed out, whatever, and they'll make you feel better. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I'm not ripping PBG off at all. You know, sometimes when you're feeling down, it helps to take a walk and clear your head. You'll be doing a lot of walking in oblivion, and walking, and walking, and walking. I wish I could talk about it more, but the cables I use to capture footage just aren't working right now for some reason. You can pick flowers, you can go exploring, or you can just hang out. You can even stop by the local towns if you're feeling a bit lonely. Back when I was a senior in high school, before I was kidnapped, I asked my math teacher, Dr. Muck, how do you think one overcomes grief? And he said, I think accomplishing things helps you feel better. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. But accomplishing things in real life? That's just too much effort. And it may even lead to more stress. We can't have that. Well, shit, I don't remember where I was going with this. Minecraft. I've wasted so many hours on this game, building houses, complex series of interconnecting tunnels and sky bridges, and just overall exploring. Time spent wasted is not wasted time. Or something. But I'll tell you one thing, I've never spent more hours looking for the goddamn diamond. It's gotta be here somewhere, I just gotta keep mining. I just gotta keep mining. Alright, I found some minerals and now I'm ready to go melt them down. This shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> Top it all off, you get to listen to relaxing music every now and then. Oh man, the song is so just relaxing and beautiful and chilling, it just makes me feel like doing ballet! Maybe relaxing for you means getting away from it all. Taking a trip to the tropics. Engaging in recreational activities. Taking a nice relaxing drive along the countryside. Or maybe you're the type of person who enjoys dancing their troubles away. Whatever your pleasure, or shall I say, whatever your vice, you're bound to find something in sunny old Vice City. If companionship is something you look for to feel better, look no further than Pokemon! You can catch innocent Pokemon and trap them until they agree to be your friends. Another thing about Pokemon is it's one of those games you can just pick up and play and don't have to remember what's happening or in the plot or none of that shit. So this is a great game that you can just kind of pick up and play and make you feel better. I just gotta remember what I was doing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe I shouldn't have put it on this list after all. No, it seems like food is an excellent coping mechanism. Something about eating just makes the body feel good. And now it's time for another episode of Bitchin' Kitchen with Chip Roberts. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Bitchin' Kitchen. I'm your host, Chip Roberts. Thank you, thank you. Today, we're going to be making an S13 specialty, stir-fried chicken with vegetables. Cooking Mama. You're a mama who cooks. 
It's not like I don't actually own this game or anything. That'd be ridiculous. I mean, if I didn't own this game, then I'd just rip the footage off of YouTube, which would be in very poor taste, as well as unprofessional, not to mention... Uh... See, now, the trick is to use a bowl with Looney Tunes on it, otherwise it won't work. A lot of you may think that Fallout 3 is a horrible game to play when you're depressed, as it follows in the wake of a nuclear war, has excruciating violence, grotesque creatures, and depressing themes, but just give it a chance. Where some see an empty wasteland, I see freedom. The freedom to think and choose how you want. It's like you're walking IRL down the street, IRL. Maybe you go get, get like a, a sandwich, a sandwich or something, and the person's rude to you, and you're like, hey, don't be so rude. And they're like, I do whatever I feel like, bitch. Thank you, everyone, and don't forget to tip the waitress. Someone gives you a hard time in this game, you just fucking shoot him. You know, speaking of America, there's something that binds us together as Americans, millennials, or even humans. That no matter who you are, no matter where you come from, what your background is, you black, white, yellow, yellow, that wasn't the right thing to say. No matter who you are, you play just about any of them will work. And rather than come up with a funny joke, I'm just gonna sit here and shoot star bits at this adorable little Luma. That's what gets my rocks off. What gets your rocks off? Is it jumping off of the common observatory? Is it playing in the snow? Is it murdering helpless woodland creatures with the power of the star man? Is it going to the nudie bar? I know when I'm depressed, one thing that I always turn to is music. And since I'm a professional musician, I can play amazing, beautiful music of my own for hours on end and just jam my troubles away. You see, because not only am I an esteemed writer, actor, director, bassist, guitarist, multi-instrumentalist, and dancer, but I'm extremely good looking too. And the secret word today is modest. So whenever you hear it, scream real loud. Ah! Whoa! Not everyone can be as incredible as me, so for them, we have Rock Band. All the fun of playing in a real band without a douchey drummer who wants to take it over and ruin your dream. How's it feel being on the other side now? And thus began the 30-year feud between Chip Roberts and his mini bandmates when VH1 Behind the Music returned. I remember JB, yeah. He was sent to the surface of Venus without a space suit. He died of asphyxiation while being crushed by the planet's gravity and melted by acid rain. So metal. Oh yeah, the music's been shown to cure depression for sure, or at least make you feel better for a couple hours. So let's find something new, fresh, something never heard of before, and do a little bit of rocking out. Let's get, let's get, let's get, let's get rocked. <laughs> Now it's time to hit the stage. I'd like to dedicate this next one to Eve. Eve, I'm sorry. I love you, baby. Cause I am your baby. Yoshi's Island. <laughs> I'm having so much fun right now. So much fun that I forgot to write a funny joke for this scene. Guitar solo. You know, sometimes work gets you down, school gets you down, you're having trouble making ends meet, maybe you're having relationship problems. Well, none of that means anything in the town of your butt. That, that, that's the name of my town. My town is your butt. Get, get, get it? Because then it's like, you're in, you're in your butt. Your butt is there. Well, none of that means anything in Animal Crossing land because you don't even have to show up for work or pay your mortgage. Come to think of it, you don't even really have to do anything. What do you think about that, Tom Nook? I didn't, I didn't even want to add an extension to my house. What, what, are you, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna fire me? I don't even work for you. I just sell you seashells and occasionally buy decorations that I don't have enough room for. You know, suddenly that home extension is sounding pretty good. In all seriousness, Animal Crossing is a great game to play to relax, unwind, or feel better. You can write mean letters to people, go fishing, go exploring, and on some nights you can just kind of reflect and listen to K.K. Slider take out a tune. I'd be lying if I said I didn't find this sequence moving. When everything gets dark and it's just you and KK listening to the Animal Crossing theme, it's quite powerful. But you can't actually hear the song in this video because despite the fact that I have a degree in audio engineering, I didn't realize that S-video components don't capture sound. Wait, what'd you just call me? 
I'd choose my next words carefully if I was you. <coughs> Put yourself back in the early 90s. It was a simpler time. An age of innocence. An age of discovery. An age of sexual exploration. Before we had The Sims, SimCity 2.0, whatever Sims game just came out on... Whatever consoles just came out. We just had SimCity for the old Super Nintendo. While away the hours building a town, making things work, and listening to relaxing music. This game is great for chilling out because every little accomplishment feels big and they give you gifts when you do something good. And hey, if your people don't appreciate you, send Bowser to terrorize the city. And if they still don't appreciate you, send a tornado to destroy the city. And if they still don't appreciate you after all that, send Bowser to burn the city down during a tornado while simultaneously flooding the island, killing the millions of people you're supposed to accommodate. And that is true freedom. Well, that's all over. I still don't feel any better. But it's worth. According to my Motley Crue wristwatch, you can't see that. According to my, you still can't see that. According to my Motley Crue wristwatch, it's getting a bit late, so. I can also just go to bed and hopefully everything will be okay in the morning. Worst case scenario is I freeze to death and the station gets plunged into the planet, but to be honest, I'm kind of alright with that. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time for the top five robots in gaming. Either five or ten, I'm not really sure which one because you know i don't actually think i play enough games to the point where i know hey everyone thanks a lot for watching my video i always appreciate your liking and commenting and if you liked the video be sure to let me know by liking it and if you didn't like the video be sure to let me know why in the comments and i'll be sure to ignore it if you like guitar and you like me check out my last video i did a, a cover of a diddy kong racing hot top volcano that i had a lot of fun with and check out my videos i did before this if you just like rob troid or if you just want to listen to some more music then check out my band axis of symmetry links in the description we just put out an album last august about metroid so be sure to check that out you guys have a killer day and hey don't drive too fast when it's icy i don't know i thought i had a funny joke here